here we are in this country, the so-called land of the free and the home of the brave. Mm -hmm. The land of the free and the home of the brave. Mm -hmm. You know, so so if any of you who are who are out there who are watching, why don't you have a watch party to bring people in on this, on, on what what's what we're doing and, and what's about to happen then? Because if this has value, then it should be valuable. And we ought to have as many people plugged in as possible. But think about this. Here we are in America, the land of the free, land of the free, home of the brave, able to worship freely. And there are people around the world who have accepted Jesus Christ, who are literally afraid for their life if they get caught coming together to worship. So they are afraid for their life. And here in America, we are afraid to come together. Yeah. Wow. And we can without for fear of our life. But here in America, we're going everywhere else, hello, except to the house. Those who those who know him. Now, this is another conversation for everybody who doesn't. But those who name the name who uh, who don't have to be afraid for their life come to work tonight. You know what? We know COVID is, COVID is here, but let's just be clear. You all have not built, built dig, dug a foxhole and have gone down beneath the ground hiding. You're not down beneath, you're not down bunkering. That's not where people are. You still have to go out and get something, some food. You're still doing every other thing. Hello. So let's, let's just talk for a minute. Uh, let's jab at the saints and then we'll get into this. People around the world who are coming together, and if they were ever seen, name and the name would be killed. Would be killed because it's against the law. And not just Muslim countries, countries period, and here in America. Churches are closing. Right now, the projection is about 20% of the churches during this time are closing. The doors are shut. Some of them will not open again. Some that were renting spaces to have gatherings have stopped in America using the excuse. I don't want to get sick. <laughs> now, isn't that something? Now, this just isn't it? Now, it, it ain't that something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. You know, when, when, when it all boils down, because here, here's the reality uh, the vaccine is here. We're supposed to be social distancing, we're supposed to be wearing our masks, you're supposed to be keeping yourself clean. Well, some folks wouldn't, well, okay, that's a whole nother story there. They weren't being clean in the first place, so you ain't trying to be around them. No way. Are you understanding it? But the reality is these are the things. And if you go back, go back to CNN and look at this uh, documentary about 1918 and notice how people think, and they're thinking the same way now. Reality is, if there ever was a time to run to the house, this is a time yes, to run to the house. Now, don't run to no dirty, nasty house, house of worship, that are not taking care of what they need to take care of. Are you following what we're saying? Yes. But they will let you know whether they have all the safety protocols in place, whether they have the cleaning stations, whether they have all the things. And if they do, you need to show up, child of God. Amen. Child of God. Amen. Now, I heard you. I just heard you. I heard somebody say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, murmur. I know it. That ain't God. I heard you, child of God. But the reality is, there is something that happens in the presence of other of his children that will not happen nowhere else under no circumstance. I mean, that's a part of his promise in Hebrews 10. You come together and something will happen. I mean, you can high five and wave and do whatever you want to do. You, you might know are you following it right. you know you doing you doing you anyhow, anyhow. Yes. <laughs> so y'all come to the house so come on mm -hmm. 
and tell somebody because it's very difficult to tell somebody about personal relationship with Jesus Christ and you're on default and a derelict and are not carrying out the assignment to be in the house. Because the house is where you belong. And it's time. And it's time. I mean, you got to understand. You got to understand. You can wear 50 masks <laughs> and it won't help. Are you following what we're saying? You, there are certain things that are part of you do what you got to do, but you can't walk in fear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, you got to understand, I got, th I got hundreds of masks. I got them everywhere, but, not, but I'm not trying to be fashionable. So let me just kind of say this to our brothers and sisters by trying to be fashionable. Mm -hmm. The reality right now is if you don't have one that looks like these, then the other ones don't work. They're letting you know the bandanas that they wear from the neck up are no good. The, the cloth ones are not as good unless they have three or four layers to them. Right now, these are the kind that you need to use. So put fashion on hold for now because the cloth don't help. Based on, based on every medical expert, based on CDC, the cloth don't help. You need to have N95 or these. Are you fine? Get you a good look at this. Get a good look at this. These kind, the surgical mask. Stop being fashionable. It don't work. Well, whatever. But the reality is, <laughs> the reality is, this is the deal. If you want to know the truth, this is it. If, I mean, this. If you're cute, you're cute. So if, if you'll be cute, we'll do it out here. Come on now. Come on. I mean, ain't nothing lost. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing lost. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Let the rest of your stuff be cuter. Then that, then you, then you're good. Then they know it's matching. Okay, you know. So anyway, back over there. In the house, in the house is where we belong. Now, just to tell you, this is what we've done, and then we'll maybe this will will push some of those who are in church to say something about where they are. Like what we have. See, not only do not only do we have the cleaning station, not only do we do fogging the day before the entire thing is far according to EPA standard. But then as of now, we got we have air purifiers. We have air purifiers to go to a whole nother level, the kinds of thing that they're using in COVID unit. So we're covering to make sure that don't let fear get you. And what it is saying is if we can, then every other one can. Yes, sir. Every other one can. That's that's what it boils down to, because it's a witness when the people don't know see that his people are not walking in fear, and not walking in fear. So we we were there was going to be a conversation about something totally different. There would have been uh, since this is the holiday time, but but because. We've been hearing it. So while sitting and listening, I go, okay, Lord, what's the deal here? He said, you gotta, you gotta do something else. So so just Karen, you can come up. So you gotta do something else here. So we're going to first John chapter five. We're going to first John, first John chapter five, and we start at verse one. Because what we've been hearing, we've been hearing some of the things today and about the spirit, about the spirit. And keep hearing these things, the Holy Spirit this and the Holy Spirit that. We keep hearing that stuff. And that stuff comes out of people, out of, quote, saints, out of church folk talking about the Holy Spirit and, and the Spirit this and the Spirit led that and down in my spirit and all these things. Y'all follow what I'm saying? But a lot of that stuff don't make a whole lot of sense to, to Joe Moe or Sally Faith. That, that don't make a whole lot of sense. And sometimes we're just saying it and don't even know what we saying. Are y'all following what I'm talking about? No, I mean, you don't. No, you don't know what I'm talking about yet because I haven't talked about it. But, but here's the deal. So, so, so the reality is what God fixes this for us to be able to get it. So 1 John chapter 5, let me know when you're there. When you're there, start at verse 1, 1 John chapter 5. So if you're not there, then I, just take your time. Then I can go. You just, you just roll on. You there? No, sir. Okay, then you just take your time. Starting at verse one, whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. 
and everyone who loves him, who begot also loves him who is begotten of him. See, that sounds like double speak. But it says, whoever believes that Jesus literally came to the earth, literally came from heaven, that God sent him from heaven, anybody who believes that he came gets connected. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ, born of God, and everyone who loves him is begotten of him. If you believe that God sent Jesus Christ, and, and do you know that you see these manger scenes, the, these manger scenes, and, and you see this child in a manger, and then you see, quote, the wise men around. You all seen these manger scenes? You seen the wise men all around? Well, actually, that's not even true. The reason why that isn't true, because if you go to Matthew 2, where we thought we may have been talking today, if you go to Matthew 2, when the wise men came, they were in a house. When you get a chance, go back to Matthew chapter 2. By the time they got there, said Joseph and Mary were in a house. They were no longer in the stable. So therefore, that meant that the child had grown and was no longer in the manger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the manger scene showed them, you see how it goes? It shows them surrounded. But that's not true. He was in a house, which meant he was older. He said they had they had bought a home, Paula. They had bought a home. <laughs> <laughs> they were homeowners. <laughs> it said a house. You follow what I'm saying? She <laughs> probably so. You know, one of one of her descendants. <laughs> and so, so they had a house. So therefore, it just showed. So now, so he says now anybody who is, that's where the process starts. Mm -hmm. Because you got to first believe that God is. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, all of us believe something. But everybody doesn't believe God is. And what more people do than don't, they just don't accept him. Because they'll say, I don't want to deal with God. Because why would God do? Those are the ones who don't accept him. They are saying they believe it. They believe that he is. They just don't want to accept him because they are not. I don't. I'm mad at God because why would God? You know, they said, why would God let this happen? Why would I serve a God who does this? So they're telling you they are affirming that they believe there's a God. They just have chosen to not enter into a relationship. So when you hear people say, "Well, I don't believe in God," no, no, they're not. They're not telling you that. They just have chosen to not identify with. They are acknowledging the fact that he is, but the second part of Hebrews 11 says, but that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. They don't do that. They believe that he is. They just don't believe that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So we're here now? Okay, if I started picking up at verse 2. By this, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. And I notice it said, the evidence that we enter into a relationship that we have this affection, this compassion for others and particularly for those who have named the name. And in fact, uh, Galatians 6 starts to talk about uh, do good all the time, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. So in other words, the criteria goes up. So he says the first evidence that you're in relationship with him is your attitude toward others who have accepted him. Yes, sir. It doesn't matter how foul they are. It doesn't matter what you think about their personality. It doesn't matter what you think about how they do what they do. It says the first criteria. And you know, there are so much infighting in the house. These denominations are a killer because you name the name and get mad because I don't do like you do. Yeah. You name the name and then you got problems saying you don't see it the way I see it when really they're violating this principle here. 
you don't tarry, you're not Jesus only, uh, you don't verify speaking in tongues, that, that, that you, you deal with immersion instead of dipping, you deal with sprinkling instead of this, you do more praise and worship rather than anthems, so I got issues with you, child of God. In fighting. And then so you wonder why people don't that. I thought they was cousins. I thought they were sisters. I thought they were why they fight all the time. Don't want to show up in the same place that you go to a Catholic church. They won't let you participate in the Lord Memorial unless you are. Oh, this stuff is crazy. Because you don't know when to stand up or sit down when somebody's doing it. Because you don't want to stand up on your feet all the time and clap your hands and holler and run and say, give a high five to three people at the same time because you don't want to do that. Turn around and say what I said. Now all of a sudden we got issues, my brother, my sister. In fighting. You hear me? You follow what I'm saying? And I already know that, that I don't care if a Bible as big as yours and yours too small and, and, and it's King James only. I got issues. <laughs> you read out of the NIV and I and I don't know what that is, and here you are reading an amplified you King James only. We got issues yes, sir. in the family of God. So therefore, it says now, so if I'm not showing that I love them. In spite of how they twirl and how they flip and how they dance, and I might not like dancing, but if they dancing, ain't no sense. And ain't no sense in me saying it. it. Don't take all that. It might take more than that. Hey, Maybe you ought to do it. <laughs> <laughs> some dance too much, and some other ones don't dance enough. Some need to do more. Some other ones need to stop. <laughs> mm. Some of them need to sit down. Some of them need to stand up. Somebody need to do less saying praise the Lord and holding up their hand. They need to have their hands on their Bible reading it. Uh, okay. All right. Back over here. So it said loving his children because that's how we do it. Pick up at verse three. And now the other thing he said, he wants us to do these things. And what he asked us to do, he said, they are not a burden. So everything God asks us to do is not a burden. He said, this won't worry you out. This will be a benefit. So let's pick up verse four. And this, this is one of the promises, and we're not going to make it very far today, but this is one of the promises as to why God's people are be running to the house. Pick up the verse four. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. You know what I'm saying? If you're not walking by faith, walking by faith. Now, some will tell you you're not walking by faith if you're wearing a mask. No, you're walking by foolishness. That's what you're doing. It does not mean you're not walking by faith by wearing a mask. That's wisdom. You still are. You still trust in God. Just understand it. I'm ready, but I ain't trusting this. Right. I'm trusting God, Amen. but I'm still wearing it. Yes, sir. Are you following yes, what I think? Yes, sir. Because there's enough room to go through the best of mass. There's something that can still get through. That's right. true. So I'm trusting God who is in charge of the air, yeah. who's in charge of the air particles. Yes, sir. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. Did you know that you, man, listen, you could be around somebody who's COVID positive and you don't even know it. Right. That's right. right. That's what I'm saying. Yes, sir. And I promise you, you have. Yeah, right. yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and you didn't even know it. Are you following what I'm saying? Because you don't know. Because you didn't run around and say, take your test. You you wasn't swabbing their nose, take it and take that test. You ain't running around being being a COVID inspector. Take this test before I speak to you. You've walked by people who are positive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you are getting it. You've walked by them. But we were so conscious of us, we didn't even give it a thought. That person could have been dripping and oozing with COVID. Wow. You want to have real talk? They could have been oozing. And in fact, you could have been standing in a line and somebody walked right by and just say, excuse me. They didn't have to sneeze. They could have been positive. They could have had on a mask. And 
then when you moved it next time to your left, it was another person who could have been and you didn't know it. So you could have been surrounded by COVID, but God still has shielded you. Because your trust was not in your trying to keep yourself safe, but your trust was in, in the faith. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Now, by all means, go through all these things. But your trust is in him. The angels surrounded. See, but with some, see, some it, he, we can't see it, but did you know that it's been some time the angels are still front and shield it. You couldn't see them, but they, somebody was positive and it just shoots. I got this. And you had no idea. Isn't that deep? And you had no idea. And what we were doing, we trying to walk away from it. <laughs> <laughs> and the angel said, This is the victory over the world, even our faith. Verse 5. Who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Oh, see what he's talking about? He said, Who is it overcome? He said, Listen, if you want to promise it, if you want it, one of your titles is you an overcomer. <laughs> yes, sir. He said, You are an overcomer. He said, Well, how do you become that? Notice what he said. Read that verse again. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Immediately, you step into another class. You step into first class. First class. You step into first class with all rights and privileges. Thank you, Jesus. When you accept Jesus back. He says immediately, your status is elevated. Mm -hmm. You went from being overcome to be an overcomer. Mm -hmm. Once accepting Jesus Christ, he said he flipped it so that you changed. You went from being underneath to on the top. Just by that decision. So, so those who listen, like just that decision, like, well, hey, I want to be an overcomer. Well, you know, he just said, you don't have to know everything about Jesus. You just have to accept him. Yes, sir. You know, you get on a flight and you ride first class, you don't know what you're going to run into in the sky. But what you know is what's going on in first class. You know, you got something different than those back there in coach. <laughs> you know, there's some things back there in coach. And man, if you've never been in first class, I mean, they come up and, and they, they get to choose what they want. Back there, they may throw you some peanuts. They might throw you something back there just because you're on the plane because they got you. <laughs> but in first class, you can say, here's what I'm interested in. <laughs> Privileges go with the territory. Now, do you know that, that the angels that shield and protect those who are overcomers are not accessible and available by those who are not? Did you know that this benefit package? They're not there. The angels are around, they're here, they're doing, they're serving, but they're sent based on Hebrew 1 to be ministering spirit for the saints. So do you know what'll happen? I'll tell you something. Now some of them, angels see them like, they ain't one of ours right there, you better come over and take care of them. <laughs> now it's like, you know, that, that that's Joe Satan right there. You don't have to block him, you go over here and block over here. Because let Joe Satan go on by this bit. Have you noticed that what people have materially does not change? Being a beneficiary of peace of mind? But he says, it's one of his benefits is, I will keep Isaiah 26 3 in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him. That's one of the benefits. Well, the person who isn't a part of his family, their mind's not going to be on him. Say, follow the distinction. But we get access to say, when you look around, that's why you don't let stuff disrupt you. You don't you don't let Uncle Donald and 45 and all their stuff and all the rest of these people throw you off with their shenanigans and whatever they're doing. Because this too is going to be, they, 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 guess what? They are going to be
be overcome. Yeah. Are you following what I'm saying? They're going to be overcome by the overcomers. Hallelujah. Just, just kind of get this now. So take some of the pressure off and help some of our other people out here. You don't hear the current name and the name are going to church. But you hear the elect name and the name yeah. and not missing church. Yeah. Now, folks can say whatever they want to. But he names the name and he shows up. Yeah. They know he shows up, but he doesn't show up. He can't get there. That's it. That's it. Are you following what I'm saying? He's naming the name. Now, because he's naming the name, God's going to honor him naming the name in spite of the one who's playing games. <laughs> you just got to follow where the script is yes, in order to understand. Have you noticed he's never condemned? The elect is never condemned. The current. But the current... <laughs> Is ripping into yeah. the elect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you following this? Yes. Now, who do you think is watching and paying attention to this? Yeah. Guess what? It does not require, it doesn't matter what Mitch or the rest of them do. Mm -hmm. They don't have the last word, what they do or do not do. Mm -hmm. So just take that stuff off your plate. Don't even be concerned about the stimulus bank. Don't even be concerned about any of that. They don't have the last word. You're not concerned about how they're trying to change it. You're not concerned about whether they're Republican or Democrat. We, we're talking about the Godocrat. We live, we operate on a, a theocracy. Not a Republican or Democrat. A theocracy of God. <laughs> she just never know. You gotta hang on, but we just gotta see where it goes. <laughs> we have to see where it goes. You gotta go on and tweet it on out now. You gotta tweet it on out now. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa! You tweet it on out now. <laughs> Yes, Lord. All right, give us about five more minutes. Let's see how far we can get with this. Go, go to verse six. This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. All right, keep going. Not only by water, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit who bears witness because the spirit is true. Okay, hold on. Yeah. All right, now, so we've been talking about my spirit. All right, let's, let's kind of be clear. All right, no, okay, keep on. The other word became by water and blood. Try to work through this a little bit. Although Jesus is fully divine, when a woman carries a child, what's one of the terms that they use when a child is about to be delivered? Water broke. Water broke. Mm -hmm. See, water broke. He was in the womb. Yes, sir. Mm. He came by water. Mm -hmm. He was in the womb. Mm -hmm. Are you following this now? Mm -hmm. So he had to take on the form of a human. Mm -hmm. Teach, Pastor. Mm -hmm. So he had to come through the water. Yes, sir. He had to come through the womb because she didn't have a dry womb. Amen. You follow? Mary, although if she was immaculately conceived, to, to, to carry the child, water had to be there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he was kicking and rolling and doing everything else that every other child does. Amen. Rolling around, moving and stuff and slushing and you can hear it. All of that. But his blood. He shed his blood. And that's what saved us. Amen. Not the water. But it came by the water. But the blood that he shed on Calvary is what was able to allow people to become overcome. And it required both. 
It, it, it required both, and we have to spend some other time on it. But he said it required both, and he said that the Spirit of God, and then a little bit, a little bit in a moment, we'll be able to clarify that. And it is the Spirit who bears witness because the Spirit is true. He said, "Well, wait a minute. Well, what Spirit? Is it my Spirit? No. Nope. You follow me? That's why you don't operate by feeling. So somebody who accepts Him, because saints, just like those who don't, have some days they ain't feeling it." Amen. You ain't feeling like getting up. You ain't feeling like smiling at nobody. And you ain't feeling like talking to nobody. Child of God, love you. Love the Lord with all my heart. So, uh, five minutes later, I might be singing praises. The wrong person shows up. I ain't singing no praise. I'm thinking about other stuff. Child of God. So your feelings, because you can get into them just like anybody else. Are you following what I'm saying? Just like Brother James said, oh, I gave him some business. And then, then he checked himself and said, I didn't do it the worldly way. He, if, you, if you snap, you snap, man. <laughs> there ain't no godly way to snap. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Ain't no godly way to snap. And he said, oh, but I wanted y'all know. It wasn't worldly. He's like, come on, man. There ain't no godly way to snap. You probably want to say how we be saying stuff, how we be fixing stuff up. Well, yeah, I snapped. But it was a, it was a, it was a perfumey snap. Yeah, yeah it smelled good. It was quite good. It was not on the ripples. I understand exactly what you're talking about. So. Okay. Okay. That's, see, that's why I said that, that's what we're talking about. That, that, See, we get so churchy, we get caught into this because we want to dress it up. Yes, sir. But ain't, but ain't, ain't nothing like a pig putting on a suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Because the pig is going to be a mess. He's going to tear the suit up because he ain't interested in no suit. You can dress that pig up all you want to. You give him a minute, pig out. <laughs> okay, back over here. Okay, all right. You doing all right? Okay. <laughs> For there are three that bear witness in heaven. Now notice what this says. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And these three are one. And in John chapter 1, it will say, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. So the Word is talking about Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. If you follow the trail. Mm -hmm. Now notice what it says. There are three witnesses in heaven. And these three are one. So he says, don't, don't get it confused when some people want to say, I love God and don't want to have anything to do with Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to listen very carefully when people say, I want to give all praise to God. You want to listen very carefully to what else they say. Mm -hmm. Are you following? If they don't bring him in, yes, sir. they have left him out. Mm -hmm. And when you leave him out, you ain't in. Mm -hmm. Wow. Isn't that something? Yeah. You leave him out, you're not in. Because he said the Father, the Son, and the all the one. So you can't accept my little brother and then you don't want to deal with my dad. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> that's, just like, that's just like a brother saying, well, I want to marry you, but I don't want nothing to do with your family. Like, man, you know, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And some lay that down like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep on. And there are three that bear witness on earth, the spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three agree as one. So we go back to the water, back to the Holy Spirit. Think about it, the Holy Spirit. If you go to Matthew, it says that Gabriel came to Mary and said, we need to tell you something's going to happen. You're going to carry the Savior of the world. That's so what she looked and said, now, okay, I hear you, but um, tell me how that's going to happen when I'm a virgin. Mm -hmm. That's a weird term now, but tell me how that's going to happen <laughs> and I'm a virgin. Mm -hmm. But she said, whatever, whatever you say is all right with me. By the time she finished talking, it's like, whatever you say is all right with me. If that's what it's going to be, that's what it's going to be. And he had to just take somebody 
who was not tainted uh -huh. to be a carrier uh -huh. of so that it could not be influenced by the natural man. Because if it was influenced by the natural man, then it couldn't have been done. So that's why I say he took on, in, in Philippians 2, he took on the form. Now, you also got to know that the womb that God used of Mary wasn't just a womb as it naturally was. There was some other work that had to go on to make sure that there was nothing impure inside. And if it was, it was taken out. Because a natural human, just think about it, a natural human woman could not have contained that divinity mm -hmm. and humanity mm -hmm. wow. Wow. At, the same time. Wow. at the same time. Are you at following it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to go past and understand what God was doing. He had this special work for this special person yeah. who was receptive enough to say, this is what it is. God. The Spirit of God is going to come over you. Now notice that. Come over you. Which means you're going to consume and she will be so different like no other woman. Yes, sir. No other woman is she going to be until delivery. Mm. Like I follow this now. After delivery, she had to be ready for a natural man. Oh, man, this stuff is deep. So she couldn't keep a divine and human womb anymore. But rejected the natural man. Oh, man, this is deep stuff. That's why we better stop. Wow. <laughs> to get it right. So if God's doing all of that, if he went through all of that to say, I can do something, don't you know that God can do something with you? Amen. In spite of where you are, yes, in spite of yes, what sir. you're doing, yes, did you know that there are cells in your body that have been that have been accessible by the kingdom of darkness mm -hmm. trying to take you out. Yeah. Trying to do something to you. And in, 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 the, and in the spirit realm, God's been doing stuff protecting you. Thank you. Thank you. Go, going, going again. Do you know, they want to talk about antibodies for the COVID that starts to repel and reject. But then in the spirit realm, it's something that starts to work. We can't see that science cannot explain. Mm -hmm. The science cannot explain it. You know, how can it be where well, the first time the x-rays or the sonogram are the, are the sharpest machine that can get beneath the surface, see something, and then they come back the next time and it sees nothing? Amen. 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 And there's nothing wrong with the machine. It's, it's clear. It's been tested. It's been checked. Everything is there. But what it saw the first time, now it comes back again and it's not there. Yes, and it wasn't because somebody cleaned it. <laughs> it was because the divine had kicked in, and all of a sudden, when whenever the divine kicks in, the natural changes. Yeah. That's why when it said, you don't want to try to get so caught up into saying, God, I want to please you. And because if I start saying that, then what's going to happen is I'm going to be on my own natural human path trying to please God rather than yeah. God use me the way you so choose whatever you want to do through me. You, you want to change the narrative. You want to change the prayer. Not God. I want to please you. It's like God, I want you to use me the way you want to use me. And if I get in your way, knock me down. That's it. That's it. If I get too smart for myself, silence me. If my eyes get a little twisted and looking at people the wrong way, cause me to become blind. If I'm going to all the wrong places, knock my legs off so I can't move. Freeze me, paralyze me, stop me. He said, no, I ain't trying to do all that. Well, you said you want to please him. <laughs> That's what it calls for. It means, hey, God, if it appears if my eyes are looking the wrong way, yeah. then it caused me to get cross-eyed where I can't see what I thought I saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
Because if you want to take it to that next level, so the, the first level is for people who don't know him, and I can say, you know what? My life is a mess. My life is a mess. But if I don't admit the fact that my life is a mess, and God is, is so interested in messes and messy lives, He's so interested in messy lives because he knows he's the only one that can fix it. Amen. So what he's doing, see, see, if it, if it were not, see, all have sinned, Romans 3, 23, all have sinned and fallen short. So, so we all start at the same place. We all start at the same place. Now, if I grade myself, and if you grade yourself, you give yourself a higher grade than you would somebody else for. Mm -hmm. We grade on the curve by ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But we go hardcore when it comes to other people. Right. Mm -hmm. For ourselves, now I ain't so bad. You know, you know why I did it. You know what? You, you know why I did it. We are justifying and rationalize what we do and say. But when it comes to somebody else, look at them. <laughs> we go hard. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to us, well, you know, you know that that ain't me. That ain't me. I just was having a moment. Really? Mm -hmm. So what he says is the first thing is I have to admit the fact that. I'm not okay. If I, if I go on and do that and be done with it, just be done with it. I'm not okay. Nope. So if I just go on and say, God, you know what? I'm not okay. And uh, okay. I want to be, but right now I know I'm not. But something ain't right because I know that we don't have conversation. I hear people talking about you. I hear them talking about you, but I've never had this conversation with you. If you start right there and say, God, I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. Just like I want you, I want to be clear that it's you. And you may say, well, God, show me that it's you. I promise you, if you just say, God, show me that it's you, he will for you personally. Not like you do it for somebody else. Are you following what we're saying? Yeah. Uh, just, just give you some idea. Yes. If he was speaking to Michael, he'd have to go through multiple languages to get his attention. He'd have to break down and use the Pythagorean theory to get him to <laughs> sit down and listen. You follow what I'm saying? You want to walk through this? Uh -huh. No, nah, but then now, if you want to talk to Derek, he'd have to use melodies. Mm -hmm. Oh, you follow? He'd have to use melodies to get to his artsy part of him and not to be sitting down and talking about math theory and, and, and talking about a philosophical debate. He'd have to use melodies to get to him. Are you following? If you want to talk to the one, he's got to go through sports. If he really wants to get to the one, talk about sports, especially if it's the 49s. You follow what I'm saying? That's what he would do. That, 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 that's, that's what he would do. Now, uh, let's see, if, if he was going to see with, with Paula, now what she's going to do, it, it would need to be uh, a provocative exchange to hear and to have time. God can't speak to her in a few seconds, in a few sentences. He'd have to have time to sit her down, shut her down, and have an extended conversation so that what she'd have to do is be able to go back and forth with God. <laughs> He had to go back and forth with her. He couldn't just have a natural, normal conversation. He had to have time. He's not, Paul, let me tell you what I really said to you. It's like, God, well, you know what? I remember when somebody said dead, and he said, Paula.
verse, verse nine. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he has testified of his son. He who believes in the son of God has a witness in, him, in himself. Now, now notice what he said. The, the witness is talking about the, the, the spirit of God has the witness in himself. Romans 8 will verify that. Keep going and then we'll stop. He who does not believe God has made him a liar because he has not believed the testimony that God has given of his son. Notice that it's not complicated. He just said, you believe him or you don't. It doesn't say you're supposed to understand him. Just believe him.